Welcome back everyone. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at booleans inside of Blender. Uh, so first of all, we need to create two shapes. Let's go add, mesh, and let's go ahead and create ourselves a cylinder right here. Okay, so we can drag that over there. Then let's go ahead and add in a new mesh and um, we're gonna make this one, let's just say we're gonna make it a UV sphere. Okay, just like that. So with our cylinder, I'm gonna press S to scale it up a tiny bit. And with our sphere, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it inside of our cylinder like so. Okay, just not, not all the way in, but just enough so that we sort of have the cylinder intersecting, or uh, the sphere intersecting the cylinder like that. So what we're gonna be doing is we're basically going to be using this sphere as a cutting tool. We're gonna to be using this sphere as a tool to basically cut out um, a bit of this cylinder so it leaves basically a cylindrical or a spherical hole in the cylinder. So how do we do that? Well, we could of course go in with edge loops, extrusions and all that, but you know, that's, that's, that's quite messy. Um, so a quick and easy way to do it is with booleans. So I'm gonna select our cylinder here and then in the properties window, I'm gonna go down to where we have this wrench icon. And here is where we can add modifiers. Now in Blender, modifiers are basically these things that we can attach to objects in order to do many things, okay? Um, we can have a bevel modifier, we can have um, masking, we can have some vertex weight paints and all that. We can add physics, we can add in an armature. So if you wanna have a character animation, you can do that. Um, you can add fluid, particles, pretty much anything can be done as a modifier. So we're gonna go here under generate and select the Boolean modifier. Okay, now with the Boolean modifier, it needs an object that it's going to use in order to intersect it. So we can click on this little eyedropper icon right here and click on our sphere, just like that. So now what's happened is basically it has um, identified this sphere as the object we want to cut out of the cylinder. And you might not notice it just yet, but if we go up to the top right corner here, you'll see there are a different number of rendering modes. If we click on viewport shading and we click on this wireframe, it's gonna switch over to wireframe. And it might be a bit hard to see, but you can see here that we have the orange of the cylinder wrapping around the sphere. So we can switch back to uh, the normal viewport shading here. And if we go over into our Boolean modifier, and if we click on this little drop down arrow, we can hit apply. So those changes are made. We can then select our sphere, delete it, and here you go, we now have a spherical hole inside of our cylinder right here. Okay, we can hop into edit mode just like before and modify it just fine. So yeah, that is the Boolean modifier. Um, we can also attach stuff using Boolean. So for example, let's undo all of this right here, undo the Boolean modifier. Okay, let's add the Boolean modifier back on. We can then select the sphere as the object we want to use. And then what we can do is right now it's set to difference. And difference basically means that we're gonna subtract this uh, sphere from the cylinder. We can also have intersect, which basically does the opposite. So as you can see, it's basically removed everything but what is inside of the sphere here. We then have union, which basically connects the two together. So we can apply the union like so. We can select the sphere, delete it. So now this sphere is now connected to this um, cylinder here. So yeah, that is the Boolean modifier inside of Blender. It's a very powerful tool that you can use in order to connect two uh, meshes together. You can also uh, set it to difference in order to subtract one from another. Um, so if you wanna create holes in meshes, for example, um, using Booleans is a very good um, way to do that. And thank you for watching.